welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slaterella. We are gonna get into this really just like orange, warm, metallic-y, fiery, smoky eye. I hope that you guys enjoy. Of course, we are using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette because girl, it is just that good. And like I said, I wanted to kind of make this more of like a series on my channel. So we're gonna do a couple of looks using it. I did start this video off today with a different look because I was trying to do something that wasn't me. Girl, stick to what you know, which is you. Don't ever try to be someone you're not. I definitely learned that the hard way today. I had a whole look already on my face and I got done filming it and I was like, this is just not you. This is not good. And like, you can always tell when you actually pour your heart and soul into something, that wasn't my heart and soul. I think that this look turned out a lot better than the first one because it's me. This is how I look. This is a look that I would literally wear out. I hope that you guys enjoy. Like I said, I know it is a lot like the first look that I did, but it's me. This is this is what I like. Warm, smoky eyes. If you ain't like warm, smoky eyes, girl, you on the wrong channel. But if you like warm, smoky eyes, come join the party. I hope that you guys enjoy this look. I hope that you guys enjoy my channel. Make sure that you do subscribe to my channel before you guys leave. And let's go ahead and get started on this look. Again, do I even need to say anything about it? You guys pretty much already know what this palette is. So I think for today, we're gonna go for a little bit more of like a softer look, but still keeping it pretty warm. I think first things first, we're gonna start off with that MFEO shade, which is like pretty much the perfect transition shade. I don't know what Jacqueline said that it stood for, but I think it stood for basically being the perfect transition shade. I'm gonna take that on a blending brush and we will quick buff that in. I legit, guys, just filmed pretty much an entire look. And then I realized I hated it, so I turned off the camera, went and washed off my face, redid my makeup. I guess I'm realizing more and more how much I actually want to put better content out versus more content, which I feel like a lot of people have a tendency of doing on any set, any, you know, type of social media. And it's like, now that I actually know what I can do, I want to better myself by putting out, like, good quality content because I'm just buffing this shade in alright so next I'm going to take shade Hunt it is like a orangey really pretty shade. I'm gonna take it on a Morphe blending brush. Ooh, girl, she picked it up. And I'm just adding little by little by little to this. Alright, I'm gonna take that same brush in that same shade. This is shade Hunt. And I'm just gonna start smoking out the second half of the bottom lash line. Kind of look smoky, sexy, like that. Then we're gonna go into my favorite shade in this entire palette, which is Jax. We used it in the last look. It's that really just like gorgeous red. And I'm gonna take it on the same brush because we kind of want like this fiery, like blown out smoky look. So I'm gonna take it on the same brush. I might be getting a little carried away because I've been sitting here for like three minutes just blending out this red. All right, so then I'm gonna take a smaller little packing brush and I'm gonna take that Jax shade again. And like I said, I'm just gonna like literally just keep darkening that outer edge of my eye. I'm done, this is like, <laughs> literally everything I've ever wanted out of a smoky eye and then some because it's warm, it's red, it's orange, it's fiery, it's burnt. Girl, this is everything that a smoky eye should be. So let's buff that in. Oof. Alright, I need to find a she'll do. So I'm gonna take a packing brush, wet it. I'm using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 
spray because it's one of my favorites. And then I think I'm going to go into the shade Obsessed because I'm obsessed. It is a really like gorgeous, like mauve color. It's like super, very light. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pack it onto my lid. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the shade Firework, which is this shade right here. And do a quick it feels like butter and then I'm going to blend that shade into firework like girl okay which is the 4th of July so girl we use in firework would it even be a 4th of July look if I didn't use firework kind of like that same thing on the other eye and I'm focusing that obsessed shade just on one side of the brush because then we can use the other side for firework. Yes, okay. Taking firework on the next side. So we pack now. And I'm gonna go back in with that Hunts shade, which was that burnt orange. And I'm just gonna start blending that. Okay, okay, okay. Then I'm gonna go back in with that um, eyebrow slash eyeliner. This is just that angled brush. And I'm going to take Firework, take the Firework, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner, like on my lower lash line, so the first half. And I'm going to take a small pencil brush and I'm just gonna, you know, highlight my inner corners a little bit. So I'm going to take what shape was this again? In light. Which again, like I think Jeffree Star said it really good. He said that in the pan, this literally looks matte. But when you actually like put it on, it's like beaming. Like it's like insane. It is so insane. I don't know how she did it. And then I'm just gonna take that same shade and I'm actually gonna highlight my brow bone. But what I kinda wanna do first is blow out this. Yes, I like that better. Now that we got the eye look done, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to throw on some mascara and some eyelashes and I will be right. All right, well. That was a hassle and a half to accomplish, but we got it. We good. We looking bleak. Again, I am wearing the Samantha number no. sevens on my lashes today. <sighs> they are just like literally giving me life. Are they giving you life? Because they're giving me life. This is everything that I've ever wanted and then some. Um, I went ahead and I did that. I also put a little bit of the NYX Wonder pencil in my waterline just to kind of like open up the eye a little bit more. And then for today's mascara, I am just using the Urban Decay Perversion because as much as I like to stray away from the mascara, once I come back, it's just like, it's a whole new world. Let's go ahead and put our faces on. Let me grab my bronzer. Same thing. to really warm her up and then for today like as my like actual like foundation I'm just wearing my makeup forever ultra HD and then I did put um this is the wet and wild dual ended contour stick I'm not a huge fan of the highlight but the contour is excellent lately I've been trying to do a lot more like creams um yesterday I kind of wore like a full face of creams actually like out in the public which I'm not used to because one it's really really warm out right now it gets like super like humid where I, where I live like it's just like it's an uncomfortable humid kind of heat with that being said sometimes wearing all cream though can be a lot but then so can be like wearing a lot of powders so yesterday I literally wore all creams on my face and I didn't put any powders besides my blush and my highlight but I mean honestly like I have cream highlights and guess I didn't realize that I could have wore that too I guess I should have done that I'm going to take my Milani Luminoso. Girl, you already know what it is. 
this is one of the best blushes I feel that is out on the market as far as drugstore. It's just beautiful. Like it just really warms up the skin. It gives you such like a nice like just pretty peachy glow. And especially with this makeup like girl. We ain't scared of peachy glow. For my highlight today, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild highlighter. This is in the brush just rolled away. This is in shade Precious Petals, which like, girl, these Wet n Wild highlighters are, can we see that? Yeah. And I know last time I did a nude lip, I don't know why, but like this Jeffree Star I'm new has just been like giving me life lately, especially with a gloss over it. That's what we're doing today is Jeffree Star I'm new once again because I'm a creature of habit and I don't really care. And then over it, I'm just going to put the Durr Cosmetic Gloss in shade Nude. It's like a nude lip pour. That's what it comes down to and I'm not ashamed to say it. I enjoy nude lips, so... Alright guys, well that completes this look right here. Definitely me. This is definitely a me look. This is a look that I am probably going to wear for the rest of the day because girl, this is just snatched. I am feeling myself in this warm, warm, smoky eye. It's definitely wearable, you know what I mean? I think a lot of people are scared of warm because they're like, orange but girl you can wear this you can rock this i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys enjoyed my channel make sure that you guys do subscribe to my channel before you leave and i will catch you guys in my next video bye